just press control space. That is the shortcut for bringing up your content drawer. So speaking of keyboard shortcuts, whenever you want to manipulate your actor in your viewport, you can go up here and you can cycle between translation, rotation, and scaling. Or the keyboard shortcuts for that is W for translation, E, for rotation and then R for scaling. Let's say I've rotated my cube and this is how I want it to be. And I want it exactly at this position, but I just want it to be slightly more up. I could grab it like this and try to move it like this, but you can see there's some sort of can't really move it correctly. If you go up here where this little icon is, you can click this and that's going to change to global coordinates. What this means is that regardless of your actor's position, rotation or scale, it's always going to give you the X, Y, and Z axis. So I can just move it up and down freely like this, and I can rotate it. And you can see I'm always going to be rotating. The keyboard shortcut for that is control plus the tilde key, which is this little apostrophe looking thing at the bottom of your escape key. Let's say I want to quickly duplicate my object. Hold one of the ends of your arrows, alt left drag. That's going to create a copy of your object. So if I want to move my cube for long distances, let's say maybe over there, but I want to move it over there, but it's kind of hard to move it because my viewport, I have to turn around, go to my actor and move it a little bit. I'm sort of kicking the can here. Instead of doing all that, what you can do is you can hold shift while you drag your actor around and that's actually going to move you along with the actor. So you can do this, you can go up, you can go down, you can go left and you're going to be moving along as long as you're holding shift. So I fly really slow and that's because my camera speed is a bit on the lower end. So if you go up here, you can actually see this camera icon and you can change the camera speed. Here's so the easier way is to just hold your right mouse button and then just scroll up or scroll down and that's going to change your camera speed. So the cube has now tons of friends and I want to select them all like this. You can press control and select them like this or you can press control alt and then drag which will mark key select them or just box select them. You can see even the one behind select them. So select your actor and if you press the end key, that's going to snap your actor to the nearest surface. So if I have it up here, end key. Speaking of snapping, if you go up here, you select this, you can enable surface snapping. So if you select that and when I move it left and right, you're going to see that's going to snap to the nearest surface. And this also works surprisingly well with your landscape. So if I move this around, you can see that sort of molds to the landscape. You can select your blueprint instance here. And if you press control B, that's going to find whatever this asset is. If you select your actor instance, you can press control E and that's going to directly bring up your blueprint edit window. So I have this radio device or audio device, whatever you want to call it, speaker thing. <laughs> if you go here, you can see I have the play function bounded to all these buttons. So anytime I press one of these buttons, that's going to play my little speaker. And then I want to do the same for this other radio thing here. Go in here to the original device and you can right click and you can copy the properties or the shortcut for this is shift and then right click. That's going to copy the properties. Now when I go back into here, I can shift left click, which will paste all the attributes here. All right, so let's say I'm super far away from wherever my thing is. I can just, I don't know, search for audio device here and selecting this, I can press the F key on my keyboard to focus to that app. You can set bookmarks, which are sort of fast travel checkpoints. Go up here to this hamburger menu thing. And if you expand this, you'll notice we have this bookmarks tab and you can set a bookmark. So if I set a bookmark zero here, that means that anytime I press zero on my keyboard, I'm going to teleport to this exact location. The shortcut for setting bookmarks is just pressing control and whatever key number you want. So for example, if I want to be here, if I want this to be a bookmark, I can press control one. Then when I press zero, teleport me there, press one, teleport me there. I like UEFN, but I don't like these light bulb thingies. What you can do is you can press the G key, which will toggle to game view. And this will give you a view of what your UEFN world would look like inside of the actual Fortnite game. So G again, that's going to bring up all your gizmos. If you want a different view of your world, what you can do is you can go up here to the perspective menu and you can toggle perspective. So for example, left will give you this sort of cool looking platform to the Mario Bros kind of perspective, which is pretty cool. And then you can toggle between the different types of perspective. You can select this just bring you back to your normal 3D perspective. You can also hold control and then drag with your middle mouse button. So for example, if I drag to the right, you're going to see this little line thing. When I let go, bam, I have my 2D perspective. Control, middle mouse button, drag down. That's going to give you this sort of downwards perspective. Drag up like this. And if you want to go back to normal, just drag from the top right and then to the top left. 
boom, I'm back to the 3D perspective. If you go up here where it says lit, you can toggle between a bunch of different view modes. For example, I can go to unlit, which will get rid of all my lighting, all the lighting within the world. I can also select a bunch of other things such as wireframe, which will give me a mesh view of all my Things. And one of the most useful ones, if, if you go in here, you can check the player collision, which will give you a view of what things your player will collide with. For example, this wall, you can see it's a square. I'm making a house with my Fortnite walls and you can see they have this cool little snapping mechanic. That's cool. But let's say I want to make this specific wall the roof for whatever reason. I could try to do this. And why is it snapping back? There's two ways you can get around this behavior. The first one is if you go up here, you can disable grid snap entirely. You can see I'm now freely able to manipulate this without having the grid snap thing. So I can rotate it here and I can make this as my roof. You can also go into your world side and you can disable editor self snap. If you don't have world settings, go up into your windows tab and just select world settings. I have two blueprint props here. One of them uses an opaque material and the other one a translucent material. You can see I can select this fine, but I cannot select this. If you want to select stuff that's translucent, you can go up here to your settings tab and just check this, allow translucent selection. And now I can select this. This will also work for things such as the player spawner. I can select this and that's going to select the entire player spawner. If you go up here where it says scalability, you can change your graphic settings. So I like to give it medium. You can go low, you can go high. Another thing you can do is you can go up here to your settings where it says preview platform. You can choose performance mode. If you are struggling with UEFN, turn on performance mode. That's going to make your computer run a lot better. Now, one thing to note is that in performance mode, you are not able to edit your landscape. So if you do want to edit your landscapes, you're going to have to go back into your settings, preview platform and disable preview. And now you can see I can now edit. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this. I hope this was helpful. And yeah.